Okay, welcome guys. It's this going to be my first attempt. You know, I say that and I've attempted this several times, uh, but I keep messing up in the video. So, anyways, uh, it's going to be my first attempt at a tutorial for PowerDirector 15. Um, <laughs> so, anyways, I had gotten done watching uh, one of the fix, what is it, the YouTube Red? I said something else earlier, but I won't repeat it um, on one of my other attempts. And I think it's exclusive to. YouTube Red um, for the uh, what is it called? Escape the Night. Uh, anyways, at the end it had side scrolling credits, so I was kind of interested. I really like the side scrolling credits uh, as opposed to the regular credits. So this was my attempt at making side scrolling credits. So we're gonna go ahead and get into this. Now you want to go to a course title room. Now don't you don't bother with any of these right now. Now what you're going to do is up here at the top on this little bar, all content, there's a thing here that says create a new title template. Now we're going to go with 2D, you know, for now. Okay, so now that that's done, what you're going to do is you drag this over here. Now I'm just going to do a bunch of sample text in here. I'm just going to do sample. I'm just going to, well, this will say credits, of course. but I'm going to change the font first. Okay, I'm going to change the color. We're going to go red. I'm going to change the font. Put it to something strange. Why not? No, we're just going to type sample a lot. Sample. 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 Okay. So we'll, we'll, we'll go with one more, why not? Sample. <laughs> okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to create another one. So just double click anywhere on the screen. Now I'm gonna name this one Music. I'm gonna go, you know what, give me this. I'm just gonna copy and paste all these. You know, it's gonna make it a lot quicker to do. Just for this sample. Sample. Now we're going to move this over here. Now you can choose how far away you want it. Um, we're going to do it, you know, right here for now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this one white. Make all this text white. You can do whatever you want to. Uh, you can change it to any color, any font, whatever. Okay, so we're going to do another one. This time we're going to say, uh, we'll just name this one actors. Uh, and then, guess what? We're going to paste sample. <laughs> now, I'm going to go ahead and post this up top here as well. Now, we're going to have to scroll over. I know there's a way to maximize this thing here somehow, but not really sure. TV safe zone, grid lines? No, I don't think that's got anything to do with it. So, we're going to drag this over some more. And it doesn't look too even, but we'll drag you over just a tad bit more. Okay, blah, blah, blah. You know what? Actually, I kind of like that. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna make music red. Okay, I'm going to make credits white. Yeah, that's pretty nice, just like that. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to copy and paste this. Uh, no, 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 I gotta copy and paste this one. Okay, so we're gonna click anywhere. Just, ta-da, there we go. Now we're gonna drag this over off to the side there. Scroll over a little more. I'm pretty sure there is a way, but I, I'm not really sure right now for this tutorial. Now you can add as many as you want to, okay? But for this example, we're just going to do it like this, all right? So we'll just do four. Now what you do is you click in here, click on the first one, hold control, press, you know, click on each individual one. This highlights all of them. Now what you're going to do is go through and you want to click on the keyframe thing on position. Okay, so we'll get this last one here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to drag this all the way to end of the timeline, okay? So now once that's dragged all the way to the end of the timeline, 
we're going to drag all of these over here. And since they're all still highlighted, you want to just a little past, you know, just to make sure. Now we're going to line it up, make sure it's up top there. We'll grab this middle one. Okay, there we go. So now that's done. And this has already put the keyframe there. So what we're going to do is we're going to test it. Just hit the stop button and play. And there we go. Now you can also add effects to it. The effects get a little trickier. I'll show you that one. Uh, but what I'll do, um, I'll just I'll just name it test for now. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to. Man, that's pretty cool. See, here's some other ones I have made as well. See, this one here is with the effects. That one there was a little more of a pain. Okay. Uh, this one here is a... Oops, click on that one. That one there, I didn't bother, you know, messing around too much with the effects. Um, and those are d d just different things okay so now we're gonna go ahead and open this back up we're gonna edit this I'll show you how to do the effects on it now again you can turn them sideways if you want to if you say you want to turn this one to angle it click on it so you highlight it and you'll grab this little green thing and then you can use the left mouse button to turn it you know any direction you want to of course you're gonna make sure you want to make sure the others are turned or whatever you want to do. Now for this first one here, what we're going to do is we're going to go to effects. Going to go, you know what, we're going to click. Now you can add effects to every single one of them by highlighting them all. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to add effects. We're just going to find, what does this do? that pops them in conjure up okay so yeah we're gonna go with that we're gonna go with that one okay so that'll be our starting effect in the ending effect will be well that was conjure up wait that was a C right is there no I guess there's no conjure down you know what, we're gonna, let's see, what does this do? I don't know why it's taking so long to do that. Okay, so, and then, uh, okay, so it wipes it back. So, um, we'll get, we'll, we'll just use those two to give this a try. Okay, so, uh, pop. Okay, so that one doesn't work too well. That one's actually kind of cool. You know what? We'll go with the starting effect of... What is that one I always use? Flip, 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 magnets. You know what, we'll, we'll try magnets. Okay, that looks like it'll work. Yeah, we'll go with that, okay. That sounds good to me. Now what we're gonna do. Okay, cool, that was, that was pretty good there. And then it wipes it back, that's awesome. So we're going to click on this first one. Well, it doesn't, you don't really need to click on it. Now what you're gonna do is drag this to the timeline here to where you want it to start okay so we're gonna say we want it to start about here and we want it to end we want it to end right about here 
it'll probably I don't I don't know how that'll work we'll see though okay now for the second one same thing drag it to where it's you know a bit in and we're gonna go and we're going to drag this one to the edge almost we'll go with that blah 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 so again drag this so it's in some there we go drag you so you're over here somewhere and then last but not least the other ones are already wiping off the screen okay so we got you there put you a little closer and then with this last one here this is for get that in in a little bit okay so now we're gonna try that I'm just gonna okay it and that'll save it I see you can it, it did do it and it's bouncing off the edge of the screen that's actually kind of cool okay so you know what for that uh, you looks like you'll have to put those out a little farther from the edge here so if you put them more towards the middle when they start maybe it'll look a little better so we're gonna do that do that do that the ending ones look like they're fine okay so you do have to play around with this part here this is the this is always a tricky part for me because I mean it doesn't exactly show it you know coming in on the screen so let's try this there we go well that's that's a lot better it's a lot better okay so there okay actually like that. that's pretty cool so anyways you get the idea uh, if you do have any questions, feel free to comment below. Um, I'll try to get back to you lately here. Seems like YouTube hasn't been like sending me the message that people are commenting. Um, maybe there's an option I messed up. So, anyways, you guys have a good day.